Hello everyone, welcome back to MC Eternal. Now, in this episode, I'm going to do something completely different than planned. I was thinking of doing something magic or, you know, building a house or something, but instead I've decided to build a mob grinder, or a mob farm. Now, to do this, I'm going to be using a mod called Building Gadgets, this mod here, and it has some cool features, but today we're looking at the copy and paste gadget mainly. And what this lets you do is you can copy buildings and paste them again. Now that's pretty cool, but what it also allows you to do is share these buildings online. So instead of having to build a, a mob farm like you normally would, someone else can build a mob farm, or you can go to one that you've already previously made on any world, you can copy it, and you can paste the... the ascent I guess the code for it, you, you can paste the code for it online for me, <laughs> for, for anyone else, not just me, to copy and use. So we've gone ahead and done that. You make a template manager, so the copy paste gadget costs a few emeralds, the template manager costs a few emeralds as well, and you also need a template which you get from using a piece of paper. And then in here you place the paper in that slot, and then with the code copied, so down here it's all copied, you see all the numbers, you click paste, and it will turn the piece of paper into a template. And I can actually name this, I believe. I can call it mob farm, and click paste, and there we go, it's called mob farm. And if you hold shift, you can actually see what it requires. So it needs some cobbles, some slabs, some torches, some glass, and a piece of wood. Now, instead of using those blocks, you can actually use construction paste. Um, how do you make that? Apparently, you make it with dense construction chunk, which you get from this block, which you get from liquefying this powder. So, you can use that, and let's say we didn't have one cobblestone, but we had a construction paste. Instead of just not building it, it will use the construction paste and then it'll dry into the same shape and color and form as the cobblestone. It won't be an actual block of cobblestone though. If you break it, you will still just get the construction paste back. But if, let's say this build used diamond blocks, right? And it's like, ah, oh, do I really have to like have the diamond blocks just to be able to paste it? No, you can actually just use construction paste. Because the diamond block, it doesn't matter if it's a diamond block or not. So, yeah, it just placed like a, like a shell. So I've gone ahead and done that, and what we have is this. A, a mob farmer. Quite a vanilla looking one, but we can, we can actually change that. Now, if I remember to, and I probably will, I'll leave a link to where I got this, and the person who actually made this and copied it. And I will also be using part of their uh, little tutorial which will be replacing the cobblestone at the top, a layer of it, with cursed earth, which helps spawn rates. Uh, where do I want to place this? I might actually place it over in this area. Here we go. Head over here. So what we can do is we can hold G and we can rotate it to where we can actually see it, like that. Then... What we can also do is we can click anchor, and now we can actually come over here and figure out where the entrance is. So I assume the entrance is over at this part. Actually, it's up there. So if we hold G again, uh, edit placement, we can actually go down. There we go. So that's flush with the ground, and click OK. Okay, okay. So I'm not too sure how it's meant to be. Is it meant to be above ground? No, it doesn't look like it, right? That's just flat ground? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I think that's fine. So what I might do is we will build it above the ground because I'm not sure... Oh. <laughs> I accidentally right-clicked. Now, I believe there is an undo function. I can click undo. And it will actually delete it all. And now, this mod is actually compatible with this dank null. <laughs> with this dank null. 
with this uh, Dank Null. So it uses the resources from here, and I wasn't sure if it would, but it actually puts the resources back in here. So that is very cool. So I can, once again, anchor this. Make sure it's in a spot this time that we are, are comfortable with. Uh, I'm fine with that. Maybe I... Mm, yeah, yeah, we'll just we'll leave it there. That's fine. So we'll place it. There we go. It's all in. That's just it rendering. It places all at once, I believe. Now, as you can see, some blocks it won't replace. So flowers that I wouldn't be able to place a block on to replace, they stay. Whereas like grass, it replaces. So we can just uh, go here and. Place. Do I even have any cobble left? I do. Oh. How much cobble do I have left in this? 200. Okay. Place those there. So, I believe the creator of this mob farm and blueprint was nice enough to actually put torches up at the top. Because... Um, you might be able to place fluids... I'm not entirely sure though. So how are we going to get up there? Because we can't fly, can we? <laughs> do we need to buy? Do we need to create a flying ring or something? Um, maybe there's a flying pet, flying saddle pet. Ride mob fly. Four diamonds. Four feathers. Five diamonds. How many feathers do we have? Are there feathers in here? One, two. Three, four. We might actually be able to do this. Because I do have a lot of diamonds. So it's it's definitely doable. Okay, so did this use... No, it just used leather. Okay, so we don't even need a, uh, a saddle to begin with. Uh, I do, however, need some leather. How many cows do we have? Mm, not too many. Is that enough? We're one short. There we go. We've got it. We have enough. I think we have enough. Let's go see what exactly we need. We need an iron nugget, a diamond, and a gold ingot. Uh, we'll grab the gold ingot. We'll put that silver away. We'll grab the iron nugget. Um, let's put away some of these seeds and... And whatnot. Put that away. Put the beef away. Uh, put the mushrooms away. <laughs> okay. We need, I believe it was five diamonds, right? Because diamond, four for this, one for this. We have the gold ingot. We have the leather. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So we have a saddle pit, which apparently lets us to ride mobs. Let's see how this actually works. Can we ride a cow? Maybe not. Maybe just mobs that can be ridden. We did have horses, so I would be able to try, but uh, they they are no longer with us. I don't know what happened to them. I don't think I killed them. <laughs> Maybe I did, though. Okay. And now, can we just make this? We can. So now, do we need a, a pig? I think we need a pig. That might be our downfall. Although, I believe... <gasps> what? Okay. So, that works, but we couldn't actually control it. I, th I think that's what happened. Maybe we can ride squids, but we can't control them. So, that allowed me to fly. Whereas, here we go. Oh. Okay. I don't know if you noticed, but he's going down a lot, so we actually need to bring some diamond nuggets with us when we <laughs> to, to fly up there. So these pets, they eat a certain food, so this one eats diamond nuggets, and once it runs out of that, I believe it stops working. So, can I just turn these into nuggets? How do you make diamond nuggets? Oh, no! Did I really just click that? All my stuff just went into chests. Oh, my 
God. Well, did we raise that? What do we have with us? Oh my, I can't believe we've done this. Okay. Where with the diamond nuggets? That we, we had two diamond. Ah, oh, okay. When it, it all went into this one. That okay. Everything's fine. Everything. Everything is fine. Don't even stress about it. Okay, so we have this, and what were we trying to do? Why did... Oh, so we clicked that button instead of the... Okay. Okay. That's fine. Diamond nugget. Diamond nugget. That's not diamond nugget. That's... Can I turn it back into a diamond? Okay. Now, diamond nugget. There we go. And now I can actually put that into my feed bag. And saves it from being in my inventory. Okay. We're now going to fly a cow to... Actually, not yet. We need to buy uh, an item from the shop called Drop of Evil. We're going to buy one. And now we have one. Easy peasy. Now we're going to hop on our cow. And we're going to fly up here. Now he's very weak. He's dead. <laughs> we killed him. Are we, gonna, we can jump into that water. That's fine. Okay. Now we're going to go in here. And this is it. This is the beautiful mob farm. We didn't bring a water with us. And my pants are being eaten by themselves. Can we buy water from the from the shop? Can we buy a, a bucket of water? <laughs> no. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to go and get water. You know, you'd think I would plan these things. You you honestly would, wouldn't you? That'd be what you'd be like, "You know what? This guy he's planned literally anything." But no. I guess we'll have to sacrifice another cow as well. Which is fine. Which is... It's fine. We're also going to need another bucket. So I can make an infinite water source up there. Hey, right, Come on. Do we have at least two cows to breed? Uh, we will. <laughs> up we go. There we go. And he's safe up there. See? I'm so generous. Okay. The water, uh, I believe we place like this, right? I think. And then... And then we try not to fall off the edge. <laughs> Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I'm not going to... I'm not going to mess up one of these. Nope. I'm going to make it perfectly around <laughs> each time. <laughs> uh, uh, um, I don't need water in my inventory. Okay. Now, we're going to break that and not be able to make it up. It is night time outside, which doesn't look too good. Now, what I can do as well, because I do actually have the building gadget with me. I have another one as well, apparently, that I brought with. Uh, if we place this dirt and we shift and right click with the building gadget, it selects the dirt as the tool of our choice. So then if we destroy this layer, uh, switch this to 3x3 three three mode. <gasps> I'm so dumb. You know what? This is actually good. This is actually good. Because there is another block that I require and I can sleep through the night. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I'm showing off all the tools today. So that building tool, essentially I can do that, right? I can press that and it will place it. It's got a whole bunch of other features. You can do stairs, grids, and you can also undo. Which I didn't know you could do not too long ago, but I do now. Now, apparently that is not going to be our tool of choice. Because I have... Remembered, there's another tool, another beautiful 
tool that comes in this mod pack, and it is the doo -doo 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 -doo, exchanging gadget. That is what we're going to be using. And on top of that, there was something else I wanted to do, wasn't there? Or was it just not fall to my death? I think it was just not fall to my death, and the gadget was just a added bonus. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, your mother cow has to, uh... <gasps> no. <laughs> Are we, like, empty of, of diamond nuggets? No. Wonder what the deal is. Can we go that way? Can we can we go forward, please? Okay, okay. I get it. You know, I get it. I shouldn't have killed the cows because I don't know the buttons for this mod. So it didn't really end well. I believe there's some horses nearby. We'll grab a horse. We'll fly up there. We won't kill the horse. See, the problem is left shift dismounts here. Yeah? Which is like, sh sure, why not? But when you're flying, left shift is also the go down function, okay? It's not normally control, so... I feel like I'm not entirely to blame. Despite the fact that I very clearly am. Is this horse flying already? What is going on? Float down left control. It's not doing it on this guy. Is it because horses can jump? Is that the issue that I'm seeing here? This is a nightmare. We need more cows. I <laughs> because other mobs... I forgot about these guys. Um... <laughs> there we go. Don't worry. Never fear. I almost pressed the dismount button again. It's fine. Everything's fine. There we go. Now, let's fix this. Let me just do this. Do this. Break this. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> okay. Everything's, everything's great. You know what? That's what you get. That is what you get. Exchanging tool. Here we go. This one. Shift right click. Now I can exchange, and I can also change change the range of the exchange to be that. Can I have it go one lower and get everything? No. Um, here, we'll do this, and we'll go up range, and I'll click that. <gasps> I didn't know if it was going to drop me off or not. And I've fallen down. You know, we're having a great time here. We're having... This is just success after success after success. Let's place this. Now let's do the exact same thing. Perfect. It's getting dark, which... is concerning. Oh, uh, yeah, actually, I need, uh, I need four of those things. How much do they cost? The drop of... They cost five. I'm not going to use four. I'm going to instead... Uh, gonna make a bridge across. So what it does is it spreads this drop of evil that I got. It spreads across and as a result, well not as a result, but what it actually does is it increases spawn rates like crazy. I think they spawn even during in the sun or j during light level, I think. And I think if sun hits it, it actually burns. So you don't want sunlight to hit it. Uh, we're going to run over here. We're going to get the drop of evil in our hand. We're going to drop the drop of evil. Make sure the water's still there. Yep. We're going to drop the drop. Oh, that is horrifying. You cannot tell me that that didn't scare you a little bit. Okay? I, I don't want to hear it. I did not want to hear it. Um, we're going to... We're 
We're going to drill that. I'm going to jump up here. I am very much panicking. I want that to be clear. I am horrified at what I have done. I'm going to fly this cow back. I'm going to land him. See, look, not killing him. We're just going to land him in. And we are going to go and realize that we didn't actually clog the hole down here. So we might actually be in a bit of trouble. Oh no, they fall to their death. Okay. I think. I hope they all fall to death. Some might have armor. So we are actually going to do that. Now I can get an absorption. How does this work? What can I do with the silk? I can turn it into silk thread. Okay, we're just going to do that with all of it. It makes two per? What does the silk thread do? I can turn it into wool. Ah, oh, there we go. Look at that. Look at all this wool we just got. Here we go. That is definitely okay with me. So th these are this silk stuff that I've got actually came from uh, the silk worm eggs that you get when you chop down trees. So that is a beautiful use for it. And th th this is barely any of it. There was a whole bunch of other stuff over there. So that is fine by me. Yeah. Right. So stuff should be spawning up there. There is other things that I could place in there, which would make it make them fall faster, right? And I think they're not spawning because I'm not standing up there. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not going to pretend like I know, but I am going to get an abs a hopper of some sort. Oh, actually, no, no, no. I don't. I don't need a hopper. I need. Oh, actually, if I want experience, I need a hopper, an absorption hopper, because. Uh, vacuum up item and XP orbs. Actually, no. They won't be dropping XP orbs because they're not... They're falling to their death. I could place blocks so they don't fall to their death and I get the XP. But at the moment, I don't think that I really need that. So what I am going to get is an item collector from Cyclic. Because that is pretty cheap. And... It doesn't use enderpearls. And <laughs> that's pretty much it. So, we'll see how this goes. And then also, I'll change on my map so that I can see mobs spawning. Because, for some reason, I don't have that activated. And I've noticed that that's something that I want activated. Uh, hoppers, do we have enough on us? Maybe. 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 Let's get a lapis block. Let's get two of these. Let us get... Uh, we don't have wood on us. Let us get one, two, three, four. No, wait. Six. Then we'll make these hoppers. Then we'll make this item collector. And that is that. The item collector uses no uh, electricity, which I feel like it should. But it doesn't. So we're just going to abuse the fact that it doesn't. And we're going to... I did jump a little bit. <laughs> Here we go. We can render the spots where it's going to pick it up. We can even move it, make it a bit bigger. And the skeleton we're going to kill. And let's turn back on our bulb so that it lights up area and eats torches. Because there was a, a dude back here, wasn't there? Okay, so now this picks up stuff. We've got a magic crystal. We'll put uh, some of this extra goodies in there. Oh, an intestine. Which instantly got picked up. What did we get? Some slime balls. Okay. So we did have a mob fall down. Which means they're still spawning while we're down here. Right? Um, now, in journey maps, you open this menu by pressing J. I believe we can go into options. Is this what we want to do? Or do we want to go back here and click show mobs? Oh, so it actually is. I wanted I want to show the pictures of mobs though. Um I am gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna have it so it doesn't show the grid because that looks a lot better. I guess we can leave it like this and it'll just show us um 
when there's dots in here, right? That might be the play of the game. <laughs> Maybe. Show keys, show villagers, show grid, show caves. What is this? Oh, those are all the silkworms. <laughs> okay, okay. That's cool. That's very cool. Yeah, I don't want that on. But it's not really toggling. Okay, I guess we'll we'll leave it like that. Oh, it is night time, however. Not anymore. So there's nothing in it. I'm looking at the top right in in the map. In fact, can I zoom in? I believe there was a way to zoom. Oh. That cycles. I've somehow turned the grid back on. Okay. Well, that, that... What? The grid's not on in the... Hold... Oh, you can hold shift to edit? No? You can hold shift to edit this. Ooh. Okay. Style. Dots. Yeah, I like dots. I'm a fan of dots. Okay, so there's some spawned in here. At this distance, it seems. Um, I do believe there should be a lot more that have spawned. Or that do spawn. Um, we've walked pretty far away, right? It's still only really showing two. Let's head back over. See what the dealio is. Alright. So there's some slimy boys down here. That look... Horrific. There's a haunted tool. So I believe it is not light enough around here. We can press F8? F7? F7. So there we go. Um, can we use this as a torch? No. These guys are so loud. Yep. What are they called? Treasure slimes. Okay. What the what treasure did they have? Poison? Like what <laughs> what was that? What <laughs> they just poison Ah I guess uh, spiders too. Oh coal, yeah, it dropped in here. That makes sense. It picks up heart drops. Can we use heart drops in anything? We can make a heart in a bottle. Okay, I mean, it works. I'm not going to say it doesn't, because it does. Uh, I am going to keep it locked, just in case an armoured mob does spawn down there. So I guess we've got this now, you know? It'll do its thing, right? Oh, I wonder if we can use our building gadget, yeah? Uh... We'll place down a bit of cobble, so that we can select it. Can we build an easy staircase up there? Perhaps. <laughs> um, we most certainly can. Let me do that. Let's actually make it three wide. Here we go. I should definitely get stairs. Actually, I've got slabs, don't I? Can I... Ooh. I mean, nah, slabs will... It'll be twice as long. That'll be crazy. Uh, let's select cobble. There we go. Repeat. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, dude, look at the mini-map. There's a lot of stuff. So I think Cursed Earth, you've got to be near it. For it to work. The sounds are so loud. I'm going to turn that down a little bit. Uh, what are they called? Hostile creatures. 
Do I have any glass on me? No. I kind of want to look in. I hear a rat in there. We haven't found rats yet. I mean, I mean, it sounds like a rat. I'm assuming it's a rat. Oh god, that is horrible. That is ear screeching. I also wonder if I can get uh, a couple stairs and just stare all the way up there. <laughs> stare all the way up. What have we got? Anything new? We got some sulfur. That's something new. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, I guess we'll just leave that, right? Now, they're not on the map again. Do they despawn when I leave? Do I need to have it built closer? This is horrible. This is just a disaster. If I take off the boots, is it any better? Yeah, it is. It's a little bit. So, are they spawning up here, or...? What's this? What's the situation? What? <laughs> I guess if I go AFK for anything, I can sit up here and have them, uh, you know, spawn in. That's an option. What if I just fall down? Ow. I didn't have my boots on. <laughs> Fall. Okay, I don't think they're despawning. I think maybe the map just doesn't pick them up because they're too far away. Or maybe they are despawning. Who knows? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so... That tool is very cool. You can see we can <laughs> build another one if we had the stuff for it. So that's pretty sweet. If you hold uh, shift on the template though, you can see we are we are missing either 1590 cobble and you know the rest of that stuff, or we're missing the uh, paste that I was talking about. So you, you can just switch it as needed. Random item collector. Or, no, item collector. Oh, it's filter? Place on the inventory and we'll collect any items in a three block radius. I guess if you, that's alright if you want really close range collecting, you know what I mean? Like if you want to have them in a row for separate things. Yeah, there we, <laughs> we have a spawner that we built instantly, which is pretty cool. Zero work from us. And I can do the same with houses. Which, maybe we should. Maybe we should have a look at that. See how that goes. Find a cool house design. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed, leave me a like. If you didn't enjoy, let me know in the comments what in particular you didn't like. And I'll see if I can go about fixing it. If you want to see more videos, make sure you subscribe so it'll show up in your feed. And if you want to be notified, make sure you press the notification bell.